So we see on Twitter, Josh Harvick's account is suspended. I don't know what the reason is, but uh, Twitter is utterly pathetic in its worldview. And this is what's wrong with Facebook as well. You know, uh, forcing words to be used in a particular way because it's assumed those words are within a deliberate context from the unit user who's using those words it's you know it's that mindset of you can't say this or that because those words associate with this other context that uh, other people might find offensive well you didn't intend that context in the first place like the programming references or when you're upgrading a laptop upgrading my laptop I had to take off the whitelist which automatically is blacklisting um, certain types of hardware I took it off from the BIOS and it now accepts a chip that is better for the uh, processing of the Wi-Fi signal and granted I had to modify that chip and cut one of the pins off before I put it into the laptop it's a nine year old laptop and I've made it somewhat 2020 viable by upgrading it um, the next main upgrade would be an external graphics card I need to save some money for that or if you want to help me out there's a Amazon wish list below to get some other bits ready in pre preparation for that or donation link whichever so I see Cheshire's account gone and I see Steve hasn't been suspended but his account deleted um, or it, it says this account doesn't exist anyway so I don't know whether he's just screwing with the trolls there or he just quit Twitter because of the utter idiocy there Facebook has got the same problem it should be obvious what context terms like whiteness and blackness on when you're dealing with technology uh, it should be obvious the intention of those words are not intended to be offensive you know but I'm not saying Cheshavik was banned because you used particular words like that. Well, it might even be, or whatever it was, I don't know. But it, it just blows my mind that political correctness then uh, is prescriptivist. The kind of, it, it, it's so damn pathetic. It's eroding, corroding and degrading the quality of information and it, you know it's degrading the ability to deliver how information is meant to be perceived and how people understand it and why certain terms and words are used within a context everything should be considered with context and this is what these snowflake trolls do over the YouTube you notice they always take things out of context they're not smart and there's some cognitive impairment going on there I think which maybe they could go and get help for that I don't know um, but you know it, it seems to be an intentional thing sometimes as well intending to drag words out of the context that they're already meant to be in and twist it around and you know the media do this all the time as well they twist people's world's view world view on a particular subject matter um can't remember what book it was i read it was a long time ago and i can't remember the full paragraph but it pointed out this and it was the concept burned burnt in my mind there 
and that is you could have a whole paragraph that's talking about let's say you're working for this production company you're on the factory floor or whatever and there's a big meeting one day about somebody joining the firm and they're going to be good for the firm and they're described to you cold hard working works to deadlines team player productive okay you might think oh it might be alright for the company but I don't want to socialize with this person after work why because of that one word only one word the first word and everything else gets filtered through that first words emotional world view cold now change the word to warm suddenly this is somebody you want to work with on the in, in the environment in the factory or whatever place it is you know just imagine something and you want to socialize with them after work they seem that like they suddenly sound like somebody who's well worth getting on with so the world view the negatives is a projection of uh, you know those who taking it out of context and saying oh you, you can't say this you can't say that it's because it's what they would do those enforcing political correctness because they're uh, supposedly scared that you might upset this group or that group are doing that because they are the ones who would do that rather than the ones being accused we see this online, we see this through YouTubers, haters coming up with accusations that are far out, outlandish, nothing to do with the context, that is the original context, but accusations float around, it's because it's what they would do, and it's their worldview. Their worldview projected outwards, and there's no critical analysis here of saying Oh, what if they meant it in this way uh, or the other way or whatever ways you know there could be a big list of different perspectives on something but now they default to one it's that, that's very weak-minded and a huge inability to put yourself in another person's shoes which can be difficult sometimes but yeah you know, we all kind of think of the South first whether we like it or not um, but nobody's entirely altruistic, but there's ways to be a better person. There's ways to run businesses better as well, I think. Um, Exploratingminds.com, I try, you know, I'm a tiny, tiny, one, one micron of a grain of sand, if you will, on a big beach of websites. So we have this tiny user base but the concept for using this you know at the moment you know I hope if it got big I wouldn't I would hope that I avoid these pathetic stumbling block blocks that ends up with such dictatorship of you you shouldn't say that you shouldn't say that don't do this don't do that these platforms need to focus somehow and there will be a way, because where there's a will, there's a way to deliberately deliver the information of the intent behind the words and the context. Context is everything here. Yeah. The context of the words. Because, you know, just reading words, can, things can get misconstrued because you haven't got that body language that I'm writing about. From the person actually on video I'd love to have a little video section for the website where people can um, through the server communicate but uh, I don't have those types of resources of course uh, YouTube is a uh, video platform where we can do that but you know, I'd like to give my users that I can't afford that uh, you need a lot of processing power to do all these things 
and processing power is expensive is you know need the server space and so on regardless there is private chatting and you can create your own chat rooms um, write your own blogs and so on we make a point of leaning away from confirmation bias which again it can be related or sub-related to taking things out of context in in a way like you know you, know, you could say uh, this is not true because of an insert reason here and then the opposing person say well that's not what I meant you took it out of context you you're very biased about the information there that confirms what we already said yeah we need things to say on track or they get always they get derailed people fail to realize how destructive this is yes I've gonna fill out a mantra and a rhetoric a narrative based on somebody getting suspended on Twitter but don't take that out of context the point is why people are getting suspended here and there you think with a huge user base and uh, the apparent whether they are or not the apparent um, focus on the rules and passion about their own rules you think it would say account suspended insert reason here but no it just says this account suspended and uh, there's a link to the twitter rules which uh, probably clear, clear as mud anyway thank you for watching take care and i'll look forward to doing another video soon i have a week off coming up so i'll be able to get some things done um Joey, if you're watching, I'll get some files to you or something organized before Wednesday. And we can pull through this um, thing that we planned. Looking forward to it, actually. Cheers. Bye, everyone. Peace out.